Hey guys, it's Josh. I hope you're having a good day and welcome back to the seventh and final episode of Waymo versus Tesla FSD Beta in Chandler, Arizona. In the first six episodes, we've primarily seen Tesla be faster on time and shorter on distance because it takes a more straighter route, but we've seen Waymo be more reliable and make every single trip without an intervention. For this ride, we're starting out at Bull Moose Drive and we are headed to the Desert Breeze Park. For the endpoint, the Waymo is able to drive into the parking lot, but the Tesla is not able to do that yet. So we'll call the ride over when each vehicle gets to the entrance road to the Desert Park. For timing, I'll again be using Scott Graham's algorithm, which normalizes for stoplight time variance. I outlined that algorithm in episode 4, so check it out if you're not familiar. And without further ado, let's get into it and see how each vehicle does. So I only have one battery um, for each. So I'm going to charge my cameras before I go out in the way mode. I might need to probably, oh, oh boy, oh boy. Okay. Go a little too close to the blue car or whatever that was. What is it doing? He's trying to turn in that, that alley again. Wow. Why is it don't go straight? Oh my god. Straight don't I don't think straight will get us out of the neighborhood. Maybe it will. We're just stuck in this neighborhood, guys. Okay, at least this is a named street this time. far to the left. There's traffic coming. I do wish you could like nudge it over. I think um, I think the Ford or one of the other competitors you can do that. I think you can actually like move the car around without, disen without disengaging. Okay, it looks like we're finally out of the, gonna get out of the neighborhood. I think I can go full screen now. Stopping too far back. Okay. No traffic. Yep. No problem. Well, that was fun. At least we got out without an intervention. So this is the third comparison ride I've shot today. I'm shooting the three Tesla rides first, and I haven't done the Waymo ones yet. Um, so the first two have been pretty interesting. You've probably seen them already, but the I had a an intervention on the second ride, which was really annoying. The car did some dumb stuff. So in terms of like real world time, we're only 10 minutes after that, or so. So I'm still kind of frustrated about that situation, but that's how it goes. Break some eggs, as they say. Okay, looks like a right and a left and another left. Back at the park. this out pretty much perfectly. I have a hotel in the area and I can check in at 3 o'clock. It's 2.43 now so I'll be able to check in after this ride. 
and no traffic from the left for quite a while. It's go. Eesh. I didn't press the pedal, but that was quite annoying. Um, I didn't have to press the pedal though. Okay, we're changing lanes. Looks like a left on West Ray and three tenths, probably that light up there. space here after these two. Wow, very confident. Very good. Jeez, that surprised me. It did a good job. Uh, it had plenty of time. The cars are just going by now, but typically it rolls out and it's like jerky and uh, doesn't go, you know, it's kind of confident for three feet and then it reassesses in three feet and it's three feet into the lane. But that, that time it just went. That was good. I like that. So it's not going to turn into the desert park, 
um, but if it makes it to the navigated point we'll call that good and if you're asking yourself why that's not fair the answer is because I said so it's my channel end of story I am the dictator of my own channel let's see will it turn in no it won't so it's gonna call it right here there's no one behind us so I can let the car do what it wants Hope you enjoyed that was an interesting ride. I'm glad we finally got out of the uh, the neighborhood. It wants to turn left. That's a do not enter. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Cheers. All right, guys. So the Tesla has finished its ride, and the Waymo is just about to make it to the entrance road. If the time is within 10 seconds, I call it a tie. And in this case, as you can see here, the Waymo has made it within 10 seconds of the Tesla. So I'll call the race time a tie, even though the Tesla took about two extra minutes to get out of the neighborhood. So looking at the stoplight stats using Scott's algorithm, we see the Waymo went through 11 stoplights and Tesla went through six. Waymo waited for a total of 108 seconds and the Tesla waited for a total of 67 seconds. We find the expected wait time per stoplight to be 10.3 seconds in this case. Uh, it was 8 seconds typically in the past. And based on those calculations, the Waymo gets a time penalty of 5 seconds and the Tesla has 5 seconds removed. So in other words, the Waymo waited 5 seconds less than you would expect for 11 stoplights and the Tesla waited 5 seconds more than you would expect for 6 stoplights. So in this case, Scott's algorithm gives the win to Tesla, which means we have an overall tie with three wins apiece and one tie from episode three. I'm going to make a wrap up video and show some highlights from all the testing and we can talk more about how to separate the tie then. And by all means, leave me your thoughts uh, on that in the meantime in the comments i would really appreciate it thanks for watching all the way to the end that means a lot to me and that's all i've got for you today so i'll see you next time cheers